Welcome to the Rory Academy YouTube channel, where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. Today, we will focus on the power electronics technology associated with Tesla Model Y. In 2021, the Tesla Model Y was the second best-selling Tesla brand globally. The Tesla Model Y is essentially the crossover SUV version of the Tesla Model 3. The lunge range version of the Tesla Model Y can travel as far as 326 miles on a full charge. The Tesla Model Y consists of a battery pack with 4680 lithium iron phosphate LFB, battery cells. Therefore, the battery pack is made up of 960 4680 LFP battery cells. The name of the battery cell 4680 is based on the cell's dimensions. The height of the battery cell is 80 mm, while the diameter of the battery cell is 46 mm. Tesla's 4680 lithium-ion batteries with the 46 mm diameter and 80 mm length hold about five times the energy of its current smaller 2170 cells. Tesla can use a smaller number of new cells for the same energy and driving range, reducing costs. The larger jelly roll packs more active battery material into the casing for a 5 times improvement in energy storage and a 6 times increase in power. Scaling up to the pack, the new form factor alone delivers a 16% increase in range. At a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts, each 4,860 cell can be charged as high as 4.2 volts, with each cell storing up to 9,000 mAh. Each 4860 cell can be discharged as low as 2.5 volts. The 4,860-based battery pack architecture of the Tesla Model Y is made up of battery bricks of 10 cells each. The 4,860-based battery pack architecture is based on the honeycomb structure consisting of 96 battery bricks. The image shows the battery pack without the new 4,680 cells in them, showcasing the honeycomb design of the pack, which is known for its strength while also being lightweight. Tesla would drop the 4,680 battery cells into the holes and bound them to the pack to contribute to the structural integrity and power of the electric vehicles. The current collected from each battery brick follows a long zigzag path across each cell group cells positive terminals before jumping to the next group at a single point. A short hop exists from the positive terminal of each cell to the adjacent cell's connection in the next cell group with a shared current collector bar connecting all the positive terminals of each battery brick together to maintain a single group voltage. The 4680-based battery pack of the Tesla Model Y is rated at 400 volts, which is floor-mounted in the vehicle. The rear drive unit is located between the rear wheels. The front drive unit, if equipped, is located between the front wheels. The drive units, through their inverter topology, convert the direct current DC from the high-voltage battery pack into a three-phase alternating current AC, that the drive units use to power the wheels. The Tesla Model Y utilizes the same inverter topology as a Tesla Model 3, which consists of 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs from ST Microelectronics with a custom package designed for it. Each of the silicon carbide MOSFETs is rated at 650 volts and 100 amperes. The Tesla Model Y uses a three-phase two-level inverter topology with an input battery voltage of 400 volts. The conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. As mentioned previously, the conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. In this case, a conventional two-level inverter structure with four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device to handle the high current. The four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device in the inverter is switched on and off by the gate source voltage applied to the gate terminal of the device. Based on the information extracted from the datasheet, the device is entirely switched on when the gate source voltage is within 10 volts to 25 volts. When the four MOSFETs parallel per switching device have the appropriate gate source voltage applied, the voltage across each MOSFET will be 400 volts due to the input battery voltage level of the Tesla Model Y. Furthermore, current flows through the MOSFETs when switched on, while the current stops flowing through the MOSFETs when switched off. Therefore, we have a voltage rise when MOSFET is switched off, and the current falls at that instant with a slight delay. During the turn-on transition of the MOSFET, the current buildup consists of a short delay time, followed by the current rise time. After the current flows through the MOSFET, 
the device's voltage falls to a small on-state value with a voltage fall time. The two peak spikes are illustrated to represent the turn-on and turn-off transition. The smaller peak represents the turn-off transition and the energy dissipated in the MOSFET at that instant. On the other hand, the higher peak represents the turn-on transition and the energy dissipated in the MOSFET. The turn-on and turn-off transition is superimposed on the current rise and current fall instance for better illustration. In the next series of videos, the power electronics technology deployed in the other Tesla model brand will be addressed. First thing you need to do now is subscribe to the Rory Academy YouTube channel and enjoy our weekly videos on power electronics technology and emerging applications, such as electrified transportation.